Plasma is often thought of as a chaotic, high-energy state of matter, but under the right conditions, it can form structured, self-organizing crystals, something that shouldn't be possible. Yet, plasma crystals are very real, and they may hold the key to understanding aspects of astrophysics, fusion energy, and beyond. So what exactly are plasma crystals? In short, they are self-organizing structures that form in dusty plasmas, and under the right conditions, these dust grains interact electrostatically, leading to a highly ordered lattice-like structure. Unlike solid-state crystals, which are defined by chemical bonds between atoms, plasma crystals are governed by electromagnetic forces. The particles are held together by a delicate balance of repulsive Coulomb forces and weak attractive forces. This results in a unique state of matter where order emerges from the dynamic behavior of charged particles. Their study helps us understand self-organization in complex systems, the behavior of strongly coupled plasmas, fundamental phase transitions, and cosmic dust interactions. Plasma crystals have potential applications in fusion research, nanotechnology, and emerging fields that look at self-organizing information systems. Stick around to the end because plasma crystals are far stranger and more important than they first appear. The discovery of plasma crystals is relatively recent, while the existence of dusty plasmas in space had been recognized earlier. The formation of crystalline structures within them was first observed in 1994 by Vladimir Fortov and colleagues during experiments aboard the Mir space station. This confirmed that in low-gravity environments, dusty plasma particles could arrange themselves into highly ordered lattice-like formations. Since then, plasma crystal research has exploded with laboratory experiments, theoretical models, and microgravity studies on the International Space Station that continue to this day. All of these have helped contribute to our understanding of plasma crystals and more. To understand the science and applications of this marvel, we will explore how plasma crystals form and what conditions allow their existence, the physics that govern their interactions, including wave phenomena and phase transitions, experiments conducted in microgravity. We will then end by taking a look at their practical applications from fusion research to self-organization. And I would like you to let me know if we should make an additional video and expand on plasma crystals and take a look at how they might be the key to understanding why it is some people say plasma could be conscious or intelligent. Let me know in the comments below. Before diving into plasma crystals first, we need to understand dusty plasmas, a special type of plasma that contains micron-sized dust particles suspended in an ionized gas. These dust grains interact with the plasma environment by gaining electric charge. Typically, they become negatively charged due to the collection of free electrons within the plasma. This charge alters the plasma dynamics, leading to the formation of a self-organizing structure. For a plasma crystal to form, three major criteria must be met. We need the right plasma environment, proper charge balance, and external forces, or lack thereof, to sustain the crystal. The plasma environment plays a crucial role in determining whether a crystal can form. In high-pressure plasmas, Frequent collision between dust grains and gas molecules disrupt crystal formation. In contrast, low-pressure environments, such as vacuum chambers or space, allow the grains to interact primarily through electrostatic forces rather than being scattered by random gas collisions. Additionally, controlled ion flow is essential as the motion of positively charged ions affects the stability of the crystal. If the flows are too strong or too weak, they can disturb the lattice structure, leading to melting or instability. Charge balance and electrostatic interactions are also critical factors in plasma crystal formation. 
Each dust grain is negatively charged, resulting in strong Coulomb repulsion between neighboring grains. However, the surrounding plasma ions and electrons create a shielding effect known as Debye screening, and this weakens the electrostatic repulsion over distance. This interaction follows the Yukawa potential. Additionally, ion wake effects contribute to plasma crystal stability. As positively charged ions flow past the dust grains, they create localized regions of excess positive charge behind each grain. This can generate weak attractive forces that help stabilize the crystal lattice, counteracting some of the repulsion from the Coulomb forces. The third requirement is the presence of external forces to sustain the crystal. In laboratory plasmas, the plasma crystal forms near electrodes, or a plasma sheath, which is a localized electric field region. This helps trap dust grains in a stable, levitating layer. In space environments, dust grains remain freely suspended, allowing for the formation of true 3D plasma crystals. But in laboratory settings like the International Space Station, which takes advantage of microgravity, dust grains can move freely in all directions, leading to the formation of fully formed three-dimensional lattice structures. Scientists create plasma crystals using vacuum chambers. A typical laboratory setup follows a structured sequence to ensure crystal formation and stability. First, a plasma is generated using a radio frequency or direct current plasma discharge, which ionizes a low pressure gas, often argon. Once the plasma is established, micron sized dust particles, such as silicon dioxide, melamine formaldehyde, or polymer microspheres, are introduced into the system. These particles quickly acquire charge from the surrounding plasma and become embedded within the ionized environment. As the dust particles interact, they become levitated within the plasma sheath and naturally arrange themselves into an ordered lattice structure. This self-organization results in the formation of a stable plasma crystal. Scientists observe and manipulate these structures using lasers which illuminate the dust grains and allow for direct visualization of particle motion by adjusting factors such as plasma density, temperature, or ion flow, researchers can control the crystal's behavior, even inducing phase transitions such as melting, resolidification, or the transition into glassy or liquid-like states. These controlled laboratory experiments provide crucial insights into the fundamental physics of self-organizing plasmas, revealing how plasma crystals behave in different conditions and advancing our understanding of complex plasma interactions in space and beyond. Now that we've covered how plasma crystals form, we can explore how they behave once they are established. Plasma crystals are dynamic, evolving systems that support wave propagation, undergo phase transitions, and exhibit emergent order in ways that challenge traditional physics models. Studying these behaviors, especially microgravity, provides new insights into strongly coupled plasmas, astrophysical dust clouds, and self-organizing matter. Plasma crystals serve as wave supporting media, similar to how solids support sound waves or how water supports ripples. One of the most well documented wave behaviors in plasma crystals is dust acoustic waves. These propagate through the lattice in a manner similar to photons in atomic crystals. These are longitudinal waves, meaning dust grains oscillate back and forth along the wave direction. Due to the relatively large mass of the dust particles, DAWs propagate more slowly than traditional sound waves. Scientists use DAWs as a diagnostic tool to study plasma density variations, charge distributions, and lattice stability in real time. Another important wave mode, known as dust lattice waves, propagates 
through the plasma crystal and resembles phonon vibrations in a solid state lattice. These waves can exist in both longitudinal and transverse modes, allowing researchers to study interparticle electrostatic interactions, plasma screening effects, and the stability of self-organized plasma structures. Plasma crystals can also undergo phase transitions, shifting between a solid-like and liquid-like state under certain conditions. These transitions can be triggered by increased kinetic energy, external electromagnetic disturbances, or enhanced wave activity, which introduce disorder into the lattice. Unlike traditional melting, where thermal motion disrupts atomic bonds, plasma crystal melting is highly dynamic and often results in a glassy or fluid-like state. This process has been studied both in laboratory and microgravity conditions. When these conditions are removed, external forces restabilize particle motion, meaning plasma crystals can re-solidify spontaneously, showing off just how they can self-organize. In addition to liquid-like states, plasma crystals can enter a glassy state where particles become disordered yet move very slowly. This behavior closely resembles colloidal suspensions and amorphous materials, making it an excellent model for studying non-equilibrium self-organization. These crystals belong to a category of strongly coupled plasmas, where electromagnetic interactions dominate over thermal motion. Unlike weakly coupled plasmas, strongly coupled plasmas behave more like soft condensed matter, displaying ordered lattice formations and collective particle interactions. One of the most revealing aspects of this crystal is how they respond to microgravity. By removing gravitational influence, microgravity experiments create nearly ideal Yukawa systems where electromagnetic interactions fully govern particle behavior. This allows researchers to test fundamental plasma physics theories, including wave propagation, phase transitions, and self-organization. These studies have also helped scientists understand the role of ion wake effects in stabilizing plasma crystal lattices, as ion flows influence interparticle attraction and lattice stability. Their ability to exhibit structured order in a high-energy plasma environment makes them one of the most fascinating and unusual states of matter. Plasma crystals have practical applications across multiple scientific fields, making them a valuable tool for research and development. Let's begin with astrophysics. Plasma crystals serve as an experimental model for studying charge dust interactions in space. They provide insights into how cosmic dust clouds evolve, interact, and contribute to planetary formation. Their behavior explains how dust particles accumulate into planetesimals, the role of electrostatic forces in planetary rings, and how interstellar dust interacts with magnetic fields in nebula and star-forming regions. Understanding these interactions is key to unraveling the structure of the universe at both small and large scales. In fusion energy research, plasma crystals help scientists understand how dust particles behave in high-energy plasmas, a crucial factor in nuclear fusion reactors such as tokamaks and stellarators. Dust contamination in these devices can disrupt plasma stability and reduce efficiency. Research on plasma crystals aids in developing methods to control or remove dust, improving plasma purity and confinement to sustain longer, more stable fusion reactions. These crystals also have profound implications for nanotechnology and material sciences. Their natural self-organization provides a model for plasma-assisted fabrication of nanostructures inspiring potential breakthroughs in semiconductors, self-assembling materials, and advanced electronics. Some researchers propose that plasma's ability to store charged states and propagate waves could be explored for alternative computing architectures and data processing methods. 
Beyond practical applications, plasma crystals serve as macroscopic system for studying non-equilibrium physics and self-organizing matter. Their behavior mirrors patterns seen in biological systems, complex networks, and strongly correlated quantum systems, making them a valuable tool for exploring emergent order in natural and artificial environments. With continued microgravity studies, AI-driven plasma simulations, and advancements in plasma-based applications, the next decade may bring more than we even think is possible. I think plasma crystals are much more than a scientific phenomenon. They are a glimpse into the hidden order within chaos. From the depths of space to the heart of fusion reactors, They reveal patterns that challenge our understanding of matter and energy. Could this be the key to understanding how it is some people think that plasma could be alive or intelligent? Let me know if we should dive further into this in the comments below. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you found this video useful. Until next time, take care.